morning everyone and happy Friday. Thank you for joining us for how to make social media and email work together which is part seven of the vertical response social media series. To cover this very important topic we have brought in the top email expert we know Janine Pavic, CEO of Vertical Response. Because she needs no further introduction I will hand the controls over to her. Welcome Janine. Thank you so much, Jenna, and thanks everybody for joining us today. Now, <clears throat> excuse me for my voice, I know all of you are very busy running your business or your department, so I'm going to actually get right into it. Today we're going to discuss what social media really is. We're going to talk about five of the most popular platforms you can use to boost your business today. You'll learn how to use both email marketing in conjunction with these platforms to grow your business. We'll also talk about the metrics you need to be tracking for your success, and we're going to follow it up by some best practices around email marketing and social media. And finally, some examples for you to look at. I'm a visual person myself, so I ended up cramming a bunch of information into these slides, but I think you're going to get a lot out of it. Social media, as you know, is a web-based technology. It takes the interactions of one-to-many, much like email marketing, print advertising, and radio advertising, where we're really talking at our potential customers, and it turns these interactions into many-to-many, -many, meaning you now got a lot of people commenting back to you or taking your message, interpreting it, and sending it out to people they know. So what does it really all mean? Well, it, it definitely changes your customers from consumers to producers of content. So I'd say gone are the days when your business and your brand is in your control. It's pretty scary, huh? With platforms like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Yelp, YouTube, and blogging, just to name a few, there's a platform for you and your customers to speak. And in many cases, you want them to speak. So what can you do to actually enable them to speak? So I decided to focus on five social media platforms that are easy to use, and in most cases free to use and can get you on your way to boosting your business. Today we're going to talk about Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and blogging. It's easy to start with these and if you do you'll definitely be well on your way. So let's start with Twitter. The first thing you want to do is get a good amount of followers following your tweets. How do you do this? Go right to twitter.com and sign up for a free Twitter account and make sure you use your company name or a name that you'll want your followers to recognize. For instance, since vertical response is too long for Twitter, we decided to use something catchy, VR for small biz. The next thing you'll want to do is post your Twitter handle on your site. For instance, on our blog, you can easily sign up to the VR for small biz Twitter account instantly because we have it in front and center. You'll also want to include it in your email marketing campaigns, on your business cards, and don't forget those signatures of your personal emails. You can see a great example of this on the right hand side where Do Maternity, a vertical response customer, and a maternity clothing site prominently displays their follow links right on their blog. How are Twitter and email marketing a success? Well, it's easy. You can tweet your subject line of the hosted version of your email using Vertical Response's new social sharing feature once your email campaign is actually launched. The screenshot on the right shows you just how easy it is. We automatically pull your subject line into this text field for you in case you want to change it. Then you can post it to either Twitter or Facebook, better yet, both. You'll then be getting your email marketing campaign in front of many more potential customers that quite possibly aren't going to be on your list. Many people actually use other products that are add-ons to Twitter to easily search for things they're interested in, like TweetDeck. With products like this, you can search on keywords. For instance, if you're interested in looking at anyone that mentions Chardonnay, you can simply input that keyword and you'll get a Twitter conversations that have keywords that have those keywords in that tweet. So when you're using Twitter, make sure you use keywords you want people to find you with. You'll also want to include follow us on Twitter links in your email marketing campaigns. Since your email could actually get forwarded, you might have a chance to pick up a few new followers. And if you've got an opt-in form on your website, tweet to your followers, sign up to receive email only offers, then use that link where your opt-in form is hosted. If your followers like you 
and think they'll get something of value, you'll start building your list through Twitter. Now let's move on to Facebook. The first thing you want to do is set up a Facebook fan page for your business. It's easy, it takes just seconds, and better yet, it's free. You want to invite your friends from your Outlook, as well as your current Facebook page if you've got one. As you grow your fans, we'll suggest you to their Facebook networks, and you'll grow even more that way. You'll also want to post to your fan page any blog posts that you publish, any company news or industry news you come across. So what makes pairing Facebook and email marketing successful? Well, you can post a newsletter opt-in form right on your Facebook fan page. This way you can offer email only offers for those that join. The issue with, fa with Facebook, as great as we all think it is, is that you may not have an email address on one of your fans. And even though you can send them messages through Facebook, it's always nice to try to get the email address so you have it for good. You'll want to post that hosted version of your email you just spent so much time on onto Facebook. This could give you much more exposure to your email campaign. We recommend to our customers to include a link to their opt-in forms in their email marketing campaigns for this exact purpose. And finally, include your Facebook links in your email marketing campaigns. Some people just like Facebook more than Twitter, so they're sure going to follow you if they see that you're on Facebook. Now let's move on to LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a platform that's used less for consumer marketing, like Twitter and Facebook, and a lot more for business to business business to business marketing. If you don't have a profile on LinkedIn, you should definitely go ahead and create one. It's easy and it's free. If I'd fill out as much information as possible in my profile. The reason for this is that LinkedIn presents you with information based on the information you give. For instance, you'll want to add connections. You can do this through searching on companies you've worked for or classmates you've had. Again, you'll need to fill out your profile in order to maximize these features. You've also got in LinkedIn the People You May Know tool, and it's based on this information. You can click to invite them very easily in LinkedIn. You can also join groups that have an affinity to what you do. This way, you'll be putting yourself in front of people that may not have ever seen you. You can also easily link your blog to LinkedIn. Now people might want to connect with you based on information you put in your blog. When they click to visit your blog, you'll have an opt-in form there to catch them. And in LinkedIn's Q&A, Q you can answer questions that are pertinent to your business or industry. And if you look at the graphic, you'll see that there are people two and three connections away. These are opportunities to get connected. Make sure you ask your email marketing recipients to follow you on LinkedIn. Put the icon in your emails along with Twitter and Facebook. Another great thing to do is to include some of the answers you answered in the LinkedIn Q&A. Again, it defines you as an expert in what you do. Now let's take a look at YouTube. Videos are a great way to get a message across and extremely engaging and a lot of fun. So try it out. Go ahead and get a flip cam. Record your own video. Here are just a few ideas for industry specific videos. If you've got a restaurant, you can give a 360 degree virtual tour of your place, or why not film a video of your chef making one of your most popular dishes? If you're a real estate agent or a hotel operator, again, host that 360 degree virtual tour of the property or specific rooms you want to highlight. Software companies, tutorials are a great selling tool. We definitely know that here at Vertical Response. Manufacturers or designers, take a video of your work. Take a video of how something's made or a story of how a customer uses your products. And nonprofit organizations, take a video of those who benefit from contributions and how it's helped them achieve. These are all great ideas to go ahead and take a video and put it out there on YouTube. You don't want to lose your customers part of the way through the video, so as a best practice, definitely keep it around three to four minutes and you'll be able to get your message across and keep your customers attention. That's the number one thing. We often mention to include a call to action in your emails, but it also applies here. Give your customers something to do from your video. You might want them to visit your website, you might want them to see more about a topic you filmed, or to sign up for a newsletter or a contest you may be running. You might want them to check out specials you may be running too. So definitely include that call to action. 
you'll also want to add tags to YouTube. Think of the keywords you use on Twitter and in your search engine marketing campaigns. They're probably the same tags you're going to use for your video. In your YouTube account, make sure you connect with friends to build your following. Then definitely upload that video to YouTube for free. Make sure you link your video from your blog or website so that your readers know to watch it on YouTube. So what really makes videos and email marketing successful? Well, email is a very engaging tactic, but video is a more engaging tactic. People understand it and love multimedia instead of a static image. So if you can make it work, post a few, a few videos, include them in your email campaigns, and watch your clicks. But one thing, at Vertical Response, we definitely recommend you include a picture of your video in the email, then have your recipients click through to it. It makes more of an impact than a text link. Recent studies definitely show you could get two to three times a click-through rate with video links and videos in your emails. Now let's move on to blogs. If you don't have a blog yet, it's easy and in some cases, in many cases, free for you to have one. You've got platforms like WordPress, TypePad, and Blogger, and they can get you there pretty easily. Why is a blog in addition to your website important? Well, you might have a website where you might not change content very much. Search engines really like it when you update your relevant content, and they can get you higher in the search results if you do update it. And blogs are a great way to do this. They're really easy to manage and very simple to change. You've also got to think about the keywords when you write your blog posts. For instance, in each blog post we do, we link the term email marketing back to our domain, verticalresponse.com. A result for that particular e-word, we're pretty high in natural rankings for that phrase. If you sell hand-blown glass, for example, you might want to link that phrase back to your home page. So really start thinking about those keywords that you really want to, uh, to show up for in the search engines. I've talked to many business owners who use the blog as content for their social media platforms. So when they come up with a blog post, say it's a day spa giving tips on how to relax during the day, that's content there for them to publish to social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Also, if you've created a video, it's definitely easy to publish this exciting news on your blog as well. What I love about blogging is it becomes the voice of your business. So many customers of ours want to know, so many customers in general want to know that there are human beings behind the companies they do business with these days. And blogging is a perfect platform for you to easily do this. Your posts don't have to be long and they should be really easy to read. And people are going to retweet you and post your blog content to their Facebook pages if they think it's worthy. This could potentially give you access to new readers and new customers you never thought you could have. You can track how many people have retweeted your blog content by going to backtweets.com, entering your blog post URL, and page through all of the retweets. You'll be surprised at how many people might uh, think your content is, is valuable enough to retweet. So why are blogs and email marketing a real recipe for success? Well, you can add an opt-in form to your blog so that your readers will opt in to getting your newsletter updates of your blog. What we do and what we've seen many customers do is actually make the blog content the newsletter content. It's especially great if you're updating weekly or monthly. You've got a great reason to get in front of your recipients again with an email campaign. You can include a teaser with links back to your blog to drive traffic to it. And you can also include links in the email to your store or your site as well. So what's really the great thing about all of this? Uh, it's definitely trackable. With Twitter, you can track how many followers you have, how many people you follow, and you can look at your retweets those people that have taken your content and retweeted it to their followers. You can also tell how many people clicked on your Twitter links by using a URL shortener like Bitly. For Facebook, you can see how many fans or friends you have and how they're interacting with you with their comments, likes, and updates. LinkedIn will give you the number of connections, and YouTube will give you the number of views on a video, and you can see how many comments you have per video. You'll also see how many friends you have. Blogs will give you the number of visits to the blog over time, 
how many comments you have, how many people are following you through RSS, and how many clicks you have on your post links. And email marketing is obviously going to give you the number of opens, clicks, unsubscribe, and new email registrants from the various social media outlets you are pushing. But your bottom line is really tracking if your sales are going up as a result. Email marketing can really be the center of all of your social media traffic. Social media is going to drive some traffic on its own, but coupled with sending email to the various social media outlets and having them get people sign up will really make you shine. If you're using social media outlets to drive traffic to your email marketing hosted campaigns and sign up forms, you're really doing a great job. So as you can really see, it's definitely a match made in heaven. So let's talk about some social media best practices. Encouraging your customers to engage is really important. If you cross promote your social media with your email campaigns, you're off to a great start. You need to be pushing your message with both mediums and getting your customers to subscribe to both and get them talking about you. We've got a promotion going on now called the New Deal for Small Business Contest where we're giving away $10,000 to deserving small businesses. All we're asking for entrants to do is create a short video of what they do and why they do it. Then we're asking them to post it to YouTube. We're getting some great videos of people and they're even mentioning vertical response, which is nice. Now don't be scared of showing off your brand. Including your company name and all of your social media posts is just the thing you need to focus on. And if you got bad reviews, I know it's scary, but it shouldn't be a problem. It's all about transparency. It's about how you address that review. Confront it, then have an answer for it, and try not to attack. You'll be better off for really having that spine. When we first launched our community, the VR Marketing Lounge, I was terrified of what might happen, what people might say. What happened is that we launched it, people are vocal helping other people with their marketing, and when someone does get vocal about something they don't like about our service, we jump on it and publicly address it. It's really important also to stay with it. Social media success is something that happens over time. At Vertical Response, we now have 7,000 Twitter followers and 1,000 Facebook fans, many of whom you know, probably aren't even our customers. We probably started those platforms about two years ago. And our blog has grown to get many thousands of page views per month, and we started that in 2005. So be patient. You'll get to success. You'll also want to take a moment out to highlight things other than your business. People want to know you're human, and your employees are human, not robots. So talk about an experience you had with a shipment, a great day you had at your business, and even some rocky things that you had to deal with. It's all good. Make sure, we note, as, we, as I've noted here, you highlight where you are in the world of social media. Now let's talk about my favorite subject. Best practices for email. Many of you know it's a good idea to make sure your lists are opt-in. You don't want to be sending email to people that, that do not want it. Make sure you speak about things your audience expects you to speak about. If your recipient signed up for offers about new tires, you don't want to send them offers about movies. Pretty simple. Make sure you definitely send email regularly. I can't tell you the number of times I've had conversations with our customers who told me they had too many unsubscribes. When I asked them how long it had been since they sent an email campaign, they said, oh, about a year. So as we all know, that's far too long. What we recommend to people is that they try to communicate regularly, so maybe about twice a month. But again, it all goes back to the promise you made when your recipient signed up to receive your email. Subject lines are the most important thing you can think about in your email campaign. You can spend a lot of time getting the email to look right, but if your recipients don't understand the subject line or aren't excited by it, they'll never see that beautiful email. So pay close attention to what will get them to open your campaign. Your from label is really important. That's the part of your email campaign where you and your recipient shook hands and agreed on them getting your email and what you were going to provide them. Usually recipients first look to see who the email's from, then see what the subject line is. They place their trust in you, the from label, so definitely don't let them down. And you don't need a bunch of marketing speak to write your email to your recipients. It's more of a relaxed medium, so 
I always say write like you speak. Be concise, use bullets. Remember, people are very busy as you all are. They're scanning for the good stuff, so give it to them quickly. So let's look at a few social media and email examples. One of our customers, Pet Camp, is a great green business here in San Francisco and they really embrace email marketing and social media. What's great is that they encourage reviews. In this email, they are asking their customers to review their Pet Camp employees. And when the employee gets a good review, Pet Camp will buy the employee lunch. This is a really creative and great promotion. This one is a children's clothing store called T. What's great about this email marketing campaign is that every month they ask people to submit photos of their children in the tea clothing. It's a great idea. This keeps people going back to their fan page. They pick a winner of a $200 gift certificate each month and you have to be a fan to enter. This definitely should help spread the word of mouth for tea and keep people coming back. This email is from a do-it-yourself book, pub, uh, book publisher, and what I really like about it is they do a really great job of putting the social media icons front and center in their email campaign, as well as a link to the blog. So if you can see right above the Dear Janine, you have a follow us on Twitter, become a, a fan on Facebook, and visit the blog. It's a great job, great execution. We get questions all the time about how to put video in your email. This is a great example of a company that uses video images in their email. So when you click on them, you're taken to, the, to YouTube to watch these videos. Again, there are lots of problems with embedding video in email, so just to be on the safe side, we tell people use a graphic of your video and then link it off to YouTube in order for people to watch it. The Lockpick Shop is a business that sells product uh, to enable locks to be broken. Uh, this is one of our customers and she definitely doesn't sell to thieves. She sells to law enforcement, the military, even the movie industry. What, what, what's great about this email, she put together a quick Halloween email for one reason only. They had just launched a Facebook fan page and she wanted to start a dialogue with customers and site visitors. Within a few hours of the email going out, they had over 200 Facebook fans. And I checked the other day and they have more than 700 and many of them came directly from this email. She also looked at her sales and ended up a few thousand dollars higher than originally projected because folks actually paid attention to the discount code that was published in this email and on the Facebook fan page. So great job for the lockpick shop. Hootsuite, uh, they are a software company and with the launch of their new product uh, they wanted to trend on Twitter. They wanted to get a minimum of a thousand mentions on Twitter within eight hours, see if they could do it. And email marketing was a real key part of the communications outreach for this goal. Along with their viral social media campaign, they emailed their 200,000 account holders and asked them to tweet about the new product. Now oh, granted, this is a, a larger list and a larger client base, so they definitely got bigger numbers as a result. There were 25,000 Hootsuite mentions on Twitter. That's a lot. After the email and social media campaign, they had 4,332 4, new members sign up for Hootsuite, and over 6,700 new Twitter uh, profiles were added. So there's some pretty exciting things that, that these companies are doing with their email campaigns um, as it relates to social media. So to wrap up today, uh, definitely go out, sign up for social media accounts, uh, get followers. I'd say if you're not blogging right now, you got to start blogging. Uh, use email marketing to drive traffic to all of the outlets and stick with it. Make the time. What I always tell people is start small. If, you know, if all of these five things uh, makes you, you know, go crazy, start with Twitter or start with Facebook and see what kind of success you have. Um, finally, track that success. You know, look at your sales numbers go up when you're doing different uh, email campaigns to your social media and vice versa. You know, really track what success means to you. So I've got a couple resources here. Um, obviously the first one is Twitter.com. TweetDeck 
is a free product that enables you to search on keywords and follow what people are saying about those keywords. Uh, what we use it here for too is we look at our competition and we kind of track things that way. So if there's a competitor you want to track and, and see what people are saying about them, TweetDeck is a great way to do that. And then back tweets is a free service where you can see who is retweeting your content. Obviously Facebook.com, LinkedIn.com, and YouTube.com, very easy, all free. Um, with regards to videos, there is a site I like uh, called Animoto. And if, you're, if you don't have a video camera, uh, this company will create a video for you just using pictures that you upload. And they put it to some great music, so something to, uh, to check out there. And finally, a flip cam. Uh, pretty easy, uh, relatively inexpensive, and uh, you can upload right from your flip cam up to YouTube. Blogs, three uh, platforms that we like. Uh, we use TypePad here. WordPress is also another great one. Blogger is free, so uh, three for you to choose from. You've got URL shorteners. The reason why you want URL shorteners is because um, Twitter will only let you put 140 characters in uh, each tweet. And uh, if you have a long URL, then you're going to be using up a lot of that real estate. So Bitly will shorten your URL and they will also give you tracking on clicks for that URL and I believe Owly does too. Uh, and then finally uh, the New Deal contest. Go to www.verticalresponse.com forward slash New Deal and if you've got a video or you want to take a video, a short one, tell us uh, what you do and why you love to do it and if you're a Vertical Response customer we'd love you to mention us and uh, you could enter to win uh, either $5,000 for first place or $2,500 for second and third place. So go ahead and do that pretty quickly. So you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Janine Popic, or follow us, Vertical Response, at VR for Small Biz. Thanks for spending time with us. Um, I think we'll be posting this so you can get this information soon and we'll email you with it. Another great use of social media and email marketing. Thanks, Janine. That was great. And thank you very much to everybody that has joined us or listened to the recorded version of this webinar. Feel free to contact us on anything that is up on the screen, and we would love to hear back from you. Have a great Friday.